and then the pineapple which Amber found herself water skiing across a lake and there was a shark but luckily for her there was a ramp before the shark and she had to go as quickly as she could and jump through the air over the shark but she over jumped and then she tumbled through the air hit the ground on the other side of the lake rolled across the dirt landed inside of a fridge just in time because she was actually in the test site for nuclear weapons and a bomb was about to go off oh the story's over oh thank goodness so last week's theme week was pretty fun. Um, I liked it a lot. It was the best Halloween story that ever happened. Let's not do a theme week ever again, okay? Let's never speak of this. Dang it. <sighs> Why do you always win? Is it because you have no eyelids? I hate you. Hello, my name is Tuesday, and I cannot win this staring contest with this sock puppet. Hello, NerdFitastic, my name is Tuesday, and this is what I look like when I wear a hat. Hello, NerdFitastic, my name is Tuesday, and sometimes I use blue face wash. Hello, my name is Flavor Flav, and this man has his hand at my backside. My name is Tuesday, and this is probably the greatest video game of all time. Hello, my name is Tuesday, and this is what I would look like as a pirate. Hello, my name is Tuesday, and Flavor Flav loves NerdFitastic. Yeah, boy. Hi, my name's Tuesday. And these gloves have no fingers. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tuesday, and this November I will always shave. Hello, my name is Tuesday, and these glasses are famous. Hello, my name is Tuesday, and the G2 pen is my favorite pen. It's also a great mustache. Hello, my name is Tuesday. You're watching Nerdfitastic. Welcome to our channel. So here's a funny work story that I would like to share with you all. Um, I was at work and I was mailing all these letters. And so I had like a big stack of letters on my desk, but my office was very warm. So I went to get a fan and my office mate Brandon was all like, are you going to turn that fan on? What happens if you blow all those letters off your desk? And I was like, dude, don't worry about it because they're on stationary. Oh man, paper supplies joke. Michael Scott would be so proud. Hey everyone, I would just like to let you know that there's a new lady in my life. Yeah, she's very, very wonderful. Her name is Lady Liberty, and I hung out with her this morning when I voted. Did you vote? Because if you didn't, you let the terrorist win. I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> Take that, terrorism. This is my friend Democracy and Liberty, and they don't tolerate your kind around these parts. That's right. Hello, my name is Tuesday, and I would like to be a novelist. That's why... I go and seek unique experiences. No, that's not what I'm doing. Oh, I'm writing a book. It's going to be 50,000 words long, and it has to be finished by January 30th. I'm at 6,000 words, though. That's kind of a lot of words, considering today is November 3rd, and I didn't write anything today, unless you count at like 1 a.m. this morning. So I did write something today. This would be a good time for, like, a jump cut. Do you know what I just realized the other day? Sometimes, like, really, really bad things can happen that will cause, like, bad things to happen to you. But then sometimes really awesome things that can will happen, and those same awesome things will cause that same bad outcome, but for some reason, it's not as bad. Isn't that weird? And you're probably just like, Scott, what exactly are you talking about? Well, take a minute to look at this picture and uh, look into the eyes of this person. Oh man, my face melted off because of all of the evil. Oh man. Now take a minute to listen to this guitar solo. Woo, yeah. My face melted off because of that awesome guitar solo. Rock on. Isn't that weird that something could happen that would cause the same outcome, but one of those things is good and one of those things is bad? Isn't that crazy? I mean, like, that almost never happens any other time. It's not just like, oh, dude, you got swine flu because you were hanging out at school. That stinks. Oh, man, did you see how fast that roller coaster went? I got swine flu from it. This was not a really good, thought-out um, analogy. Kind of like Nano Remo, Rimo, Rhino. Gyno, Nano Gyno, National Novel Writing Gynecologist, 
month. It's kind of like that. I'm really kind of pumped about NaNoWriMo because I can write a bad 50,000 words and it's okay because I could always edit it later just like I could edit this video but I'll most likely upload it and continue the face melting analogy even though it's stupid and bad but I'll keep it in there because it serves the purpose of insulting Amber which is always fun although maybe I should direct my hatred towards a person who's more deserving of it because there is a YouTuber who I hate with a burning fiery passion that makes my hatred of fire that I have for amber look more like a candle burning because like it's a small flame but the person this person ignites a bonfire within my f fury chambers that was weird do you guys know who it is let me do my impression of that person Fred, I hate you, and I hope that your face melts off in a negative way. Mm. Oh my gosh, how long has this camera been on? What has been going on this whole time? I guess I'm going to go try to edit this and see if any of it makes sense. I doubt that it will. Except for this part. Keep on rocking in the free world, Sarah Dodd. I'll see you tomorrow. And that's, that's where it ends. Bye.